So there's more news this morning from Mullen Automotive. I made a video this morning, guys, before market opened. Go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. I said I was expecting a pullback with Mullen, right? An inverse head and shoulders looks to be forming. I've been kind of sharing this over the last several days. A lot of people are commenting like down 12%, down 15%. Well, watch the video. It was expected before market even opened, but Mullen did drop news literally five minutes before market opened this morning, and they delivered 50 additional class one EV cargo vans to Randy Marion. The estimated invoice is 1.6 million. Guys, I'm gonna be updating you every single day on Mullen Automotive with technicals, with the charts, with news, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, because we're about to get into it. To date, Mullen has delivered 100 class one cargo vans, invoiced at 3.3 million. So this is the process, right? It was a horrible 2023. I think a lot of people have better hopes, higher hopes for 2024, but this is good that they delivered 100 class one vans. They've also been delivering class three vehicles. Company is on target to deliver a total of 285 class one vehicles by January 8th. That's in less than a week, okay? So they're gonna be delivering more vehicles very soon. So why is the stock down? Why is it crashing down? Well, the only thing I could think is exactly what I said in this morning's video. Okay, it's setting up to build higher support to then move higher. Would be my best guess. Of course, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is only based on my own opinion looking at charts and news. You always have to do your own research and do what's best for you. So I'm gonna show you a tweet real quick that David just put out literally like five minutes ago so wait for that but this is what he said in the news we ended 2023 with an emphasis on delivering class one and class three vehicles and are now ramping up production to meet the commitments we have for 2024 demands of our current future customers so again is 2024 the year for Molin? will things turn around well it really depends on your perspective on the stock in the company here's the thing if you're entering Molin today then you might have a better perspective on someone that's been in Molin for the last year or two years. So everyone has their own opinion. Everyone has a different look when they're looking at Molin, right? So you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day. For me, I've shared that I will not be adding more money into Molin. I will just trade what I already have invested in the stock. Now, I am feeling good because they're actually doing what I wanted them to do with producing and delivering vehicles. I'm not happy about what happened in 2023, though. I still want David to buy some stock. I want the board to buy some stock. I want things to change. Now, they've, they've shared this news before. The Molin One is anticipated to be the first EV cargo van for sale in the U.S. market. So we know this, right? A lot of this is repeat news. Here's a little flyer they have. You can see 3.3 million to date company has delivered 100 class one vans. It's pretty awesome. Pretty good. Here's David's tweet or X or whatever you want to call it. If there was ever a doubt, by all means, click the link below. Molin is a qualified manufacturer for the federal tax credit. The crazy thing is David is acting different. I don't know if this guy had a New Year's resolution or what has happened, but he is a lot more vocal on Twitter, on X, than he's ever been. And it seems like he sees what people are saying. I feel like he's always seen what people are saying, but he just didn't say anything in 2023. Well, now he's coming out and he's making posts, sharing with people, hey, don't even worry about it. Like we have a federal tax credit. This is going on. This is what we're focused on. This is how many we deliver. Like he's being very clear on what is actually happening that he's never done all of 2023. So guys, let me know what your opinion is on that down below with David and what he's been doing. Now here's Mullen on the day. You could just see a choppy roller coaster trading at 1249 on the day. Below me, the volume is 1.1 million. Uh, market cap's 51 million. The open was at 1358. We hit a low of 1207. So we're actually building that right shoulder that I feel like is happening right now. For Mullen, I mean, the next couple of days will really tell if it is an inverse head and shoulders. But as of right now, everything is playing out the way I expected it to from this morning's video. Our high on the day was 1420. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, the whole market is just taking a dump right now. Okay, so stay positive. It's going to be okay, regardless what stocks you're invested in. There's a lot more to life. Stay grateful always. But let's see how Mullen plays out the rest of today and into this next week. Hope you guys have a great one. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment if you want to join the links out down below. The Patreon, we have an amazing community and we're really talking about all the stocks that we're buying for 2024. Have a good one.